What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Ryan Garcia. Get this. Ryan Garcia shuts down Joe Ramirez fight. De La Hoya states, let me make it clear, that's not happening. The tug of war between Ryan and Oscar De La Hoya continues around who is the super lightweight star, who he should fight next, and the Hall of Fame fighter turned promoter suggested Wednesday that a scrap between Garcia and Golden Boy's newly signed 140-pound unified titleist Jose Ramirez was looking like it was getting close to happening. Uh, on Thursday, Garcia knocked out that notion. He says, no, Ramirez Garcia wrote on social media, sorry, that's just not going to happen right now. Let me make that clear. The exchange is latest chapter of the back and fourth saga, okay? So negotiations seem to be moving along as well, so much so that Garcia shut down Ramero as even a possibility, and De La Hoya declared a deal would get done with Haney. But soon after socializing with Ramero's promoter, Floyd Mayweather Jr. in Las Vegas, Garcia called for an end of negotiations for a Haney fight and instead switched his attention back to Ramero. The decision prompted De La Hoya to tell Mayweather to F off. Hmm. Both sides have then since sued each other and legal matters are ongoing. Okay. And the ongoing battle led o Garcia to suggest yet another new opportunity on Thursday. Ryan Garcia versus Oscar De La Hoya at this point, he wrote with a shrugging emoji. Okay. Um... You know, at this point, Ryan Garcia, what he's doing, if he's not going to promote himself, he's making it very difficult for anybody else to promote him, okay? Um, when you, you had Haney, and then instead of Haney, you wanted Roley after talking with Floyd. Well, Roley showed you his true colors by being greedy, so he priced himself out. Then your promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, suggested Jose Ramirez, which is at 140 pounds, which is a, you know, um, unified titleist, okay? And yet, former unified titleist, let me make that clear, yet you don't want to fight him. So my question is, why not Ramirez? You know, why not Haney? You know, and then like I tell you guys, you guys ask me, well, why don't you do more on, you know, lightweight to uh, Junior Welter? Because all of those guys there, they act like their egos are bigger than someone from heavyweight. I can understand it from heavyweights. They're bigger. They make more money. They're more, you know, they're more talked about in most circles, especially the circles that I'm popular in that I'm talking about, you know, uh, but it's just too much and too many prima donna tactics there. Like, Ryan has done this a time and time again. Devin Haney is the only one that's trying to fight anyone. Tank Davis thinks you just need to bend to his will. I'm sick of that shit. Like, like the the weights and the rehydration clauses and these all these concessions and you need to do this and you need to do that. And Floyd's down there playing like a little mini demigod. And it just, like, it, it just, it, it becomes a hassle and it becomes annoying to me. You know, and I'm thinking like, who, well, who the hell is Ryan Garcia going to fight? Who is he going to fight now? You know what I mean? Probably another trash tomato can fighter that we never heard of. And he just wants to fight him, you know, and Ryan Garcia is getting to the point where it's like when people see other like Bob Arum, even Al Heyman with Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather more than likely will take him if he's out of contract, but the thing is, he signed with Golden Boy, so he needs to stay with Golden Boy. He's always talking about release me, release me. Do you know why he's saying that? It's because he knows he can't get out of that contract unless legal action takes place or Oscar De La Hoya releases him by his own will, which they won't do because those fighters make them money too. Bars. So why would they? Why would he release Ryan Garcia, when he signed the contract, that's just his shitty business practices based on his own ego and false bravado. You know what I mean? He needs to fight one of these guys. Devin Haney, champion. Jose Ramirez, 
former champion, Roley Romero. I don't know. Bayaso. I don't, I don't know really like Roley Romero. He comes up and now he wants to, he just really wants to fight Roley. He really wants to fight Roley. That's what he, that's what I'm hearing. He doesn't want to fight someone like Jose Ramirez that might beat him up if he's still, um, you know, at himself, if he's still game, you know, somebody like Jose Ramirez will come in, use the Mexican style. He'll probably get chin with that left hook though. Cause I mean, someone that comes forward is a sucker for that left hook, honestly, but you know, uh, wishful thinking for me because I'm ready for someone else to shut up Ryan Garcia, but he's already pretty much been shut up and he's still acting like a diva. So I don't really understand why he's doing what he's doing or why he still is doing, why he still is doing what he's doing. Fight one of these guys, show that you're one of the best still. Stop being a bitch. Stop being like, well, like, like, stop acting like that. You know what I mean? And if he cares like that, why don't he pay himself out of Oscar De La Hoya's contract so he can be free and go let Floyd tell him what to do with his career too, like he's doing tanking and none of those motherfuckers will fight anybody. How about that? Happily ever after. And then long dark side lives or none lives the lightweight division. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Ryan shutting down the idea of Jose Ramirez as well as Devin Haney. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.